Alright guys, in this video I'm going to be explaining everything about my mum and how it all happened and yeah, so let's go. Right, so I said I'll make a video explaining this because I just want to do and I feel like some people might might want to know and might be confused because in the last video I was just explaining that she passed away and I didn't explain much though about what was actually going on. About eight months prior before she went into hospital, she was constantly... And I mean constantly coughing and she had this terrible back pain up around here and then sometimes it would shoot down here on her arm, right? But she also had a back pain before that. So we're convinced she had lung cancer for even maybe a year or more. No, like not even like two years. Like that's fucking mad to think about. Then the cough came and see... We are like, we just thought it was kind of asthma or something because she, she always had a vape and we were always telling her, stop, stop, give it up, give it up, but she just wouldn't. But, and then the back pain came and see, the cough started to go, but then it came back and then I kind of had a suspicion as well, but I was like, that could be cancer. I was like, lung, lung cancer was in the back of my mind, like something got to do with cancer was in the back of my mind, I was like, okay, no, it doesn't matter. So then, yeah, so all that eight months, she's just coughing and in terrible pain, in agony, and it was absolutely horrible. And I, I can't fucking describe how heartbreaking it was to look at her. I can't describe how bad and how much it hurt me and all of us to look at her like that. It was absolutely terrible. She would be, sometimes you'd be sitting on the ground just crying and I'd feel so fucking bad. And you know, I'd come down in the morning and she'd just be lying on the floor. Like, no, like I'd just walk down in the morning. I'd, we'd say hi to each other and stuff. And then she'd be, I'd, be, I'd be like, how's your back or whatever? She'd be like, oh, it's fine. But the thing is though, all through them eight months she had pain. We thought it was muscle pain. We thought it was a muscle pain. And she also thought that as well, you know. She thought it was a muscle pain. So she was going to loads of physios, doing exercise or whatever. But that didn't help. So then we went to Cork. It's a place in Ireland. Obviously, we, we got this scan. I don't know. And it was like... Apparently, her spine was like pulling all to like the left or right. I don't know which side it was. But that's what was causing the pain, apparently. But then we got done an MRI scan. And it showed a full x-ray of her whole body. No, yeah, so we came back, all happy, the scan is done. All of us thinking she'd be perfect, she'd just have to wait a few, maybe another month, doing this exercise thing or whatever, and then it would work. And then after that, a few days after, I was just kind of, she was meant to go into hospital, but she didn't, and it kept getting fucking delayed. She called me down one day, and she was like, Mark, come down. Explain and she told me then she had lung cancer and my older brother was there beside me on the couch or whatever and she explained that she had lung cancer but honestly I was just like I was kind of like this I was just kind of when she told me I was just like just thinking in my head I was like I was like I believe she can beat this though I was like I believe she can beat this so and then my auntie came down and it just got to the point where it was just fucking really fucking bad. And she said, you have to go into hospital. She went into hospital then and um, so whatever, whatever, whatever was going on. And don't worry, her her partner was visiting her in the hospital and he stayed there like the whole time where which I... F mm, and he's going to be my legal guardian from now on. But so there was this one day then that... My other auntie was here as well with like my uncle and then my two brothers downstairs and my older brother called me down and I was like what the fuck is going on and my auntie was like Mark your mom is too sick to beat this I was like what the fuck and then we just all started crying but the thing is before that before my auntie said oh your mom won't be able to leave to to beat it like a few days before it was like, oh, your mom is fine. And then it was like, oh, she's not. She is, she's not. Like, it was like a fucking roller coaster. It was like up, down, up, down. Like, well, I made sure to never lose hope. I was like, no, she can do this, she can do this. And I just kept trying to tell myself and kept trying to make myself believe that she can beat this. And I, I didn't want to lose hope. But then whatever, that day after I went into hospital, 
with my two other brothers and the doctor called us in, right, into this little waiting room. Oh, he said, your man mightn't even last a few days. Bang, all started crying. He was like, whatever, there's like a little chance or whatever. And we were just saying, that one fucking percent chance, give her that one fucking percent chance and do whatever the fuck you can do. And I will tell you, on God, bro, she took about 50 injections and she was still fucking fighting, like. Yeah, but, like, I kept going back to hospital, me and my other brother, but the my oldest brother stayed there with her. So, like, whatever we were going, we were going. And then there was this one night where I decided to stay. Okay, let's say, I think it was a Wednesday or a Thursday, and I stayed till that Friday. Yeah, it was a Thursday, and I stayed till the Friday. And then that Friday night... I'm pretty sure is when she actually passed because the nurses took out the oxygen and just put in this little thing that was like still she was still breathing but then she just she fought so much but then she just let go and it was so hard to look at but now I actually want to explain more about what went on this fucking doctor okay I'm not going to say his name I'm not saying his name for his purpose I couldn't give a fuck about him I'm saying it for my purpose because I could get in trouble if I say his name. So my mum didn't want to wear a mask and, but she said she'd put up a scarf and that doctor didn't let her in. And if she was to go in then, she could have actually, the outcome could have been different. But look, it is what it is. There's no point saying if this, if that, but this, but like, but I'm just saying he didn't let her in and he's a fucking cunt. So then, yeah, obviously then she went to the actual hospital and then that all happened as I explained that before. But, but yeah, as I was saying though in the video as I explained that she actually passed away, um, she had pneumonia as well and that's why she couldn't actually beat the cancer. But now let me explain, I'm going to explain what the pain actually was in the back pain. You might be saying, wait, how the fuck was she getting pain? When it was lung cancer. What it was. Was the tumour in her lung. Was pushing on a nerve. Which was causing the back pain. And that's what it was. My mum actually knew it was a nerve. She was like. No that has to be a nerve. She thought it was a trap nerve. She was like that has to be a trap nerve. Because that pain is terrible. And I was like. Yeah it's probably. I was like. Yeah it's either a trap nerve. Or it was something got to do with a nerve. And then her partner actually said. Yeah it's something got to do with a nerve. So we were actually right on that part. It was actually a nerve. So. That's why the pain was so bad. But. Hopefully this cleared things up. And. Yeah. I guess I'll see you in the next one. Peace.